Okay, this is a tutorial for drawing up a little hexagonal jewellery box with a lid and a bottom. So the first thing you need to do is open SolidWorks 2017 software and then you're going to create a new part. With SolidWorks, you start by picking a plane, drawing a sketch, then turning it into a 3D feature. So I'm going to start by picking the top plane to draw on, starting a sketch, and I'm going to choose a polygon, and I'm just going to keep it as a hexagon at this point. I'm drawing out my hexagon, and I probably want to make it with sides of about 30 millimeters. Just take that. Okay, now I've drawn my 2D sketch, I can choose my feature tools and turn it into 3D by using the extruded boss tool. And I can click up the height of that, I'm going to go up to 40 millimeters. If I don't like the way it looks, I can right click on there, choose edit feature and change the height, so maybe I actually only want it 38 millimeters. Okay, and I can click the rebuild buttons. Now I'm going to hit the F key, which fits it to screen. I can also push down the wheel on my mouse, and it spins around. Okay, now I want to cut my solid hexagon into two parts, a lid and a base. So this time I'm going to choose the front plane to draw on, pressing down the wheel to turn that around. And I'm going to sketch a cut line. So I choose the line tool and I draw a horizontal line sticking right out the edges. So make sure it's horizontal. Okay, now for features, I'm going to cut. And I need to choose through or both. Okay, so I've cut off the lid. So I'm going to save that as the bottom. Bottom hexagon. Save. Okay, I want a lid that matches, so I need the other half that I cut off. So if I right click on Cut Extrude and go to Edit Feature, I can say Flip Side to Cut. And that leaves me with the top half. So I'm also going to save that. And I'm going to call it top hex again. Okay, I want the bottom hexagon back to work on further. So I just need to reopen it. There it is. Okay, I just want to hollow it out. So I'm going to choose the top surface and the shell tool, and I want it to have two millimeter thick sides. There we go. So that's my base. And I can just save that again. Now I'm going to work on the top because I want it to have a little insert to help it stay on. So here's my top hexagon. I'm going to click the underside to draw on. I'm going to start a sketch and turn on my sketch tools. So I've selected that whole surface and if I select offset it makes a matching sketch but I want it to be inside and I want it to be 2.5 millimeters so there's a little bit of space. So now I'm going to extrude that a wee bit, not all the way down, I want it about 4 millimetres. So that's made a little insert to stick into my box. The last thing I want to do is maybe draw something or put some decorations on the top of the box. So I'm going to select the top. And I can sketch some things on the top. 
Um, and in this case, I'm just going to do a little repetition of the hexagon features and I'm going to extrude it but just a little bit maybe 1.5 and that's my lid so now I've got a lid and a base so together they would look something like that and you can see how that fits in. Okay, now I need to get both parts ready for 3D printing. So the 3D printer can only open files that are STL files. So the last thing I need to do is to save this piece as a .stl. And I also need to do the bottom. So I will have two 3D print STL files. A top hexagon STL and a bottom hexagon STL. Then you can open up the 3D printer software and prepare for 3D printing. So you might like to try some different shape boxes. You can follow through similar steps, but you could do a circular box. You could do an ellipse shape box, I think would be really nice. Um, or just a rectangular box. So have a go at some different types perhaps and then decide which ones you want to print.